Hello, my name's Sergeant Lorna Clark and I manage a team of five police officers that are based here at the University of Northampton on your Waterside campus. We're here seven days a week for your safety and security. We can be contacted through security, um, the number's on the back of your ID card or you can come and see them here at the visitor centre. They can contact us, they will know exactly where we are. If you see us walking around, obviously stop us, ask us questions. Or if you need the police and you're not sure where we are or how to contact us, ring the police on 101 or in an emergency, always 999. Thank you. We're here now out on the Snake Bridge, which is the start of the safe route up into town. When this beautiful campus was built, a lot of investment was made into the safe route that students would take into town. And if you follow this route, the CTTV coverage is pretty much 100%. You will be watched if you want to be, and you'll be safe. There's a direct link between the CCTV control room and the police. So what's the route? You go across the Snake Bridge, up past St John's Halls, up the hill to the Guild Hall, and then left and into the town centre. This is the route the students would normally use. We know you're going to use the least amount of steps to get where you want to go, so that's the route that's been invested. When you're on that route, if you've got any concerns, like I say, ring the police 101 or 999 or on the back of your ID card, ring security at the control room. They can meet you at the crossing at the end of Beckett's Park if you want and escort you safely back onto campus. You shouldn't be walking back on your own, but if you do find yourself in that position, give them a call. They'll make sure you get back safely. Another thing I want to talk to you about is knives. Appreciate everybody is going to need to use knives, but these need to be used and kept in the kitchen and you've all got lockable cupboards or drawers to secure these in. They cannot be kept in your bedroom. If they are found in your room, they will be seized by us or by security and you will be disciplined for that. If anybody is found carrying a knife around campus, you commit an offence, possession of an offensive weapon. The police will be called, you're likely to be arrested and you will be punished for that. You've, what we found is that people who carry knives are so much more likely to be injured by the knife that they carry than anybody who's not carrying a weapon. The other issue my team see quite frequently is that of intoxicating substances. Whilst alcohol is legal, drugs are illegal. Cannabis is a class B drug and if you're found in possession of it you can still be arrested and prosecuted for that offence. Whilst we're not here to be the fun police, I do um, use my team to enforce this around possession of cannabis and if you're handing it round to other people you're supplying it and that's a much more serious offence. Once we've finished dealing with you for the offence of possession or supplying the drugs we will be forwarding details onto the university discipline team and I will ask them to take further action. You could be thrown out of university if you're found committing these offences. What is a money mule? A money mule is a transfer of cash from one place to another it's as simple as that. And you can find yourself being victim of becoming a money mule without really realising. Something so simple as a flatmate or a friend asking you to take money into your account and then withdraw it at the cash machine could potentially make you a victim of being money muling. This is the cash machine outside the shop on the university campus and we have had people bought here and asked to withdraw funds that have been put in their account and pass them on. Once this money has gone through accounts and it is clean, it can then be used for further criminal gain. Please don't allow this to continue at the university. Be really careful who you give your bank account details to and be careful who's putting money in your account. If you do find you've been a victim of this, please come and see us, we can sort this out for you. If we find that you've been um, involved in money muling because the banks will be watching accounts and they're looking for these transactions, they inform us and we come looking for you. You're not treated as a victim that time, you're treated as a suspect. We appreciate that this can happen, it can happen so easily. As soon as you find out, please come and let us know. Thanks for watching our safety video and taking on board the bits of advice that I've just passed to you. If you need us, any more information, like I say, come and find us. There's myself and five police officers here. You'll see us around campus. Hopefully you'll get to know us. Hopefully you'll recognise our faces. And then if you do find you need us in that hour of need, it's a friendly face that you already know that you can come and find us and we can help you out.